Hello mga kawamat! In this video lesson, we'll discuss illustrating the nature of bivariate data. So, but before we proceed for our discussion, please don't forget to like our video lesson and subscribe na rin kayo. Thank you! So, a blank is an attribute or characteristics that may take more than one value which can either be measured or classified. So, an ano ito, no? It can be measured or classified na kung saan napaka-importante nito kapag uh, sa research na. Ala dapat alam natin, no? Yung uh, ano na to. So, that is a variable. So, kapag nagre-research tayo, dapat malinaw sa atin kung ano yung variable na involved sa study natin. So, para saan ba itong mga variable na to? So, so, here are some examples of variables na madalas ginagamit rin ito sa research natin. So, the height and weight of the students, the number of our students spend in studying at home, and daily allowance of students are examples of variables. So, from such variables, information are collected and analyzed. So, if we are given a bivariate data, the degree of association between the two variables can be determined. So, in this video lesson, we will deal with nature of variables and data collected. But, of course, kailangan malinaw sa inyo kung paano kunin yung variable at paano natin i-identify yung variable ng study natin. Okay, let's try to answer this activity. Identify the variables involved in the following situations. Number one. Okay, so ang gagawin lang natin class, identify nyo kung ano yung variable sa given situation. So number one. Number one, land survey. This friend's shoes, sizes, and weight. So ano kayong variable natin dyan? So, yung variable involved sa situation number 1 natin is the shoe sizes and weight. Number 2, Nelly conducted a survey to determine the number of household members in their barangay. So, ano yung variable natin dito? Number of household members. Number 3, Joanne interviewed 15 students about their daily money allowance and weight. So, ano yung variables? Daily money allowance and weight. So, pwede niyo akong sabayan no, habang sumasagot. Number four, teacher Abby recorded his students' scores from IQ and math test. So, ano kaya yung variable natin dyan? So, the IQ and the math test. Yung scores from IQ and the result of the math test. If uh, there are score from math test. And for number five, Anna recorded her daily profit in selling cassava cake. So, ano yung variable natin? Daily profit. So, as you can see class, sa situation natin, yung sa limang situation natin, meron tayong mga variables no, sa situation na dalawa, meron lang ding isa. Kagaya sa number one, okay, so meron tayong dalawang uh, variables dyan. And then, kagaya rin sa number 3, no? yung daily money allowance in weight, at yung number 4. So, yung number 1, uh, 3, and 4 ay situation na meron dalawang variables. At yung number 2 and 5 natin, iisa lang yung variable. So, dito iikot yung video lesson natin. No? Dito, na, uh, ito yung i-discuss natin kasi may tawag dyan kapag yung isang problem involved lang ng isang variable, ano ang tawag natin doon? And then, kapag may dalawang variables na involved, ano naman yung tawag natin? Another, so tingnan natin. So, bilangin natin kung ilang variables yung sa isang situation. Number one, Mr. Hernandez uh, will donate face masks to the people in his barangay. He asked a health worker to survey the number of family members leaving each house on, he, on his barangay. So, what do you think, class? Ilang number of variables involved? Isa lang. So, uh, ano yung isa na yon? Number of family members. So, yun lang yung variable na involved. Since, uh, isa lang yan, so, makikita natin wala nang kasamang iba pang variable. So, yung variable natin sa number one is number number of family members. Kaya, 
uh, may isang involved lang na variable. Sa so number two, to, prop, uh, to properly compensate an employee, the administrative aid records, the number of hours their employees are working and their respective take-home pay. So, ilang variable kaya yung involved sa situation number two? Dalawa. So, ano yung dalawa na yun? So, yung number of hours and yung take-home pay nila. No? Uh, yung number of hours and then yung take-home pay. So, kaya dalawa yung variables natin dyan. And number three, a school nurse finds out the number of hours of sleep of 20 students and their weight in kilograms. So, ilang variables yung involved sa situation number three? Dalawa din. So, ano yun? Yung number of hours of sleep, no? And their weight in kilograms. So, dalawang variable din. Yung number of hours and then yung weight in kilograms. Number four. So, ilang uh, variable yung involved? A doctor secretary records the number of minutes a patient spends for a medical checkup. So, ilan kaya sa number four? Isa lang. Yun ay yung number of minutes. So, isang variable lang involved sa situation number four. And for number five, a nursing student investigates the number of hours of sleep of 20 patients and their red blood cells count. So, ilan kaya yung variables na involved sa situation number 5? Dalawa. And that is the number of hours and then the red blood cells count. So, dalawa. So, dapat malinaw sa inyong class kung ilang yung variable yung involved sa isang situation or dun sa problem nyo or sa research nyo, no? And then, para uh, malaman nyo rin yung uh, tamang statistical procedure kung isa o dalawa lang na variable. Sa susunod na mga lesson natin, uh, doon makayo malilinawan. Bakit para saan ito? Kailangan natin i-identify yung mga variables sa isang problem. Kung isa lang yung variable at kung dalawa yung variable, paano natin it, it, it or gagamitan ng statistical uh, treatment. No? So, proceed tayo sa next slide. Data that involve one variable, so ito na yung sinasabi ko kanina. So, kapag yung data that involve one variable, tinatawag natin siyang univariate data. Again, kapag yung data that involve one variable is called univariate data. Univariate data are often described using the measures of central tendency like the mean or average, mode and median, also the variation or other descriptive statistics. Again, kapag uh, univariate data daw, so madalas this is for descriptive statistics. Kasi isang variable lang yung involved. Okay, for examples, the Department of Health recorded the number of infected COVID-19 cases from April 14 to May 21, 2020 in the Philippines. So, sa tingin nyo class, since ito ay halimbawa ng univariate, ano yung variables na involved dito sa example number 1 natin? The number of infected cases, no? So, that is uh, kaya univariate. Number 2, World Health Organization summarized the number of COVID-19 recoveries around the world. So, isa lang din yung variable na involved dito at ano yun? Yung number of COVID-19 recoveries. Okay. And number three, a secretary recorded the daily number of patients a doctor has a month during the general community quarantine. So, isa lang din dito ang variable na involved and that is the number of patients a doctor has a month during the GCQ. So, ito ay halimbawa ng univariate. So, kapag isa lang daw yung variable na involves sa ating situation or sa isang problem, that is univariate data yan. Paano kapag dalawa? So, ito na, no? Kapag dalawa yung uh, variable na involved sa data natin. Data that involve two variables are called bivariate data. So, ito yun. By, dito magsisimula yung discussion natin sa susunod na mga uh, topic natin about bivariate data. So, this is the illustration of bivariate data. So, again, kapag ang data that involve two variables, tinatawag nating bivariate data. The statistical procedure used to determine and describe the relationship 
between two variables is called correlation analysis. Kung mapapansin nyo class doon sa una natin, kapag univariate data, descriptive statistics yung madalas doon. Dito class, kapag between... Uh, Kapag nagdi-describe tayo ng relationship between two variables, ang madalas gamitin natin is correlation analysis. So, ito yung mga halimbawa ng bivariate data natin. A researcher observed the number of minutes it takes for students to answer a worded problem in math and the number of hours they spent in studying the subject for a grading period. So, ano yung dalawang variables natin dyan? Okay. Uh, Uh, that is the number of minutes and the number of minutes it takes for a student to answer the word problem. At saka yung isa, number of hours they spend in studying the subject for a grading period. At sa pangalawa, a researcher records the number of infected COVID-19 patients and the number of days they spent in the hospital before recovering from the disease. So ano yung dalawang variable natin? The number of infected and the number of days they spent in the hospital. And number three, a group of researchers found that long hours spent by students in browsing the Facebook application has negative effect on their academic grades. So, ano yung dalawang variables na involved? Sa example number three, yung long hours spent by students in browsing the Facebook application at saka yung isa, yung negative effect doon sa academic grades nila, yung academic grades. Okay? So, that is, so ngayon, malinaw na sa inyo yung univariate, uh, univariate data and bivariate data. So, again, kapag univariate data, in, yung data na may isang variable lang. Kapag bivariate data, data that involve two variables. Okay? Determine the variables in the following situation. I identify whether they involve univariate or bivariate data. So, number one, a, a security guard of a supermarket estimate that on the average, the number of customers entering the supermarket's premises is 85. So, ilang variables kaya yung involved sa situation number one? So, anong sa tingin nyo? Number of customers. So, isa lang. So, kapag isang variable, ang sagot natin dyan, univariate data. Number two, a student researcher concluded that the number of hours of sleep is highly related to the blood count of the students. So, ilang variables yung involved sa situation number two natin? Dalawa. So, what are those? Number of hours and the blood count. Since dalawa yung uh, variables na involved sa, example, uh, sa situation number two natin, yan ay bivariate data. And number three, a mother asks her daughters to minimize their electric consumption to their monthly electric bill will not be high. So, ilang variables kayong involved sa situation number three? Dalawa rin, no? yung electric consumption and then yung electric bill. So, the answer is bivariate data. Another A uh, nutritionist advised her patient that few hours of sleep results to unhealthy weight gain. So, ilang variable yung involved sa situation number 4? Dalawa rin, no? yung number of sleep and then yung weight gain. So, since dalawa yan, by variate yan. A school teacher find out that on the average, only 30% in each class has internet access on in their home. So, Alin yung variables natin dito sa situation number 3? Number of students. Since isa lang yung variable natin, ito ay univariate data. And number 6, Jake, a STEM student, was tasked to conduct a survey and the number of our students spent in playing online games like Mobile Legends. So, ano yung uh, variable natin sa situation number 6? Number of hours in playing ML or the mo, uh, playing Mobile Legends. Since isa lang yung variable, so ito ay halimbawa ng univariate data. Okay, test yourself. So, pwede nyo, sabay, pwede nyo i-post yung video na to and then sagutan nyo muna. Okay, for number one.
So number one, the answer is one. Univariate data consists of only one variable. Number two, data that involve two variables are called bivariate data. And number three, the statistical treatments used to describe univariate data are measures of variation and measures of central tendency. And number four, the statistical analysis that can be used in bivariate data is correlation analysis. No? And number five, if the data given in experiment can only be described by the measure of central tendency and variation, then the type of data given is univariate. Another, identify the variable in its situation below. So, pwede nyo i-post yung video and then balikan nyo na lang kapag may sagot na. Okay, so ito yung sagot natin sa number 1. Height, number 2, monthly salary and weight. Number 3, number of years in service. Number 4, age and blood pressure. And number 5, number of hours in using Facebook. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your Wow Math channel.